All right, here's the Soma Haas, and this bad boy that we're going to do on the numerology system is going to be Autobiography of Yogi. I just wanted to see how we could interpret, or I can interpret, pages 1, 11, 22, and perfection number 7 through the Autobiography of Yogi. Who's that bad boy? You see the younger pictures of me? It looks like this guy. This guy. But that's page number one. Page number one is nothing but a title. It says Autobiography Yogi. The story of Autobiography Yogi in my life is that I was gifted in 2000, uh, pre, uh, 2003. 2003. In the spring of 2003, I was gifted. A yogi told my roommate at the time to give me Autobiography Yogi because I needed to read it. I needed to read it. So he gave me the book. I read it. I devoured it. The stories were so much alike to something that I had lived. I knew. Not only did I know that I wanted to meet Mavatar Babaji and I wanted to create yoga, but I knew I was Yogananda last life. <laughs> no joke. That system then became an internalization through yoga and the development of uh well, uh, Kundalini release we'll talk about, to cities. Shortly thereafter, I read Autobiography for Yogi. I levitated. I then did a 20-day one water fast. 21-day water fast. I levitated and started having cities, spiritual powers. I then at that point realized uh, an internal voice that said, we're going to resurrect Yogananda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bad boy. So, uh, and really what had happened is that, uh, how does this go? Uh, oh yeah, so I became Yogananda because Yogananda was myself last night. So this presently, I've gone through the four systems of Suruba Samadhi. And through the first Suruba Samadhi, killed the, the self of the past, which would have been Yogananda, releasing him. And then I became the self as Dr. Andrew Grisitian. Then I became the Soul Mahas. And now I'm Soul Mahas. Okay, so that's all cool. We're going to look at page 11. Page 11 talks about uh, uh, Larry Mahasaya, the invisible picture. Larry Mahasai, Sri Arthaswar's guru, he Sri Arthaswar's guru, the guru of Yogananda, and Larry Mahasai, a disciple of Babaji. So what's pretty darn funny is that uh, this, this guy, Larry Mahasai, the yogi, would not show up on pictures until he decided that he wanted to show up pictures. So if you check out my early pictures between 2000 and, say, 6, 2006, uh, to 2007, they look like everyone else in my family. If you look at my pictures between 2009 and 2000 and say 15, it looks like I'm a, I'm a ghost compared to my family. That's because I did scary mudra and drank a heck of a lot of soma, amrit, ambrosial, mana, amrit. So that's scary mudra. I drank that and became a ghost. Deathless hadn't set in, but that was Shikari Mudra, the onset of what? Cities, greater cities, as well as what? The onset of the possibility for immortality, which it was, and then the, the development of what I intended to occur, deathlessness. Okay, so uh, if you examine those pictures, I look like a ghost compared to the family. And presently now, I look what? enlightened or cleaner than the surroundings behind me. So now I'm the real in the unreal, whereas before I was a ghost <laughs> in the unreal. Pretty darn funny. If we go to page 22, we can see how, um, uh, let's see, I gotta read page 22 just to reflect on that bad boy. The same with two bodies. That would be me. Yogananda last life was commenting on all these uh, siddhas and cities and saints. And guess what? Presently, I am that. That is what? That I am. I am that. So that's my name, Soa Mahas. Uh, it's a reflection of union with source, omnipresence. Uh, but one evening, my in-laws 
my mother-in-law said to me, my ex-in-law uh, now, uh, mother-in-law said to me, was that you downstairs when I was upstairs? Freaky, eh? By location, the saint with two bodies. Don't call me a saint, why? Because I'm jizz, right? Because I swear I say fuck. No, really, because I am, maybe I'm not gonna be a saint, but it's okay, that's all cool. I will create saints. <laughs> yeah, bad boy. Okay, so now we go to page number seven. And we look at page number seven, and what do we see? You see this bad boy? And it says what? He's uh, his father, Yogananda's father, and Yogananda's father was what? A disciple of Larry Mahasa, and guess who my father was this life? The reincarnation of Larry Samas. No, Larry Mahasaya. No, that's, again, not a joke. If you examine a picture of John Perstition and you examine a picture of Larry Mahasaya, you will see one and the same. Guess who John Perstition became after upon his death? I know very well he was trying to get to, <laughs> they were trying to rip into him, but he was trying to get into Christmas, uh, Christmas Eve, which he did. He passed on or left his body on Christmas Eve, uh, trying to make a statement to, uh, to Jesus, but that's all cool. Because we rip into Jesus and what happens? We got to support him. Okay, so what happens when, uh, when uh, John left his body? Guess who he came back as? Another vision I had pre-2005, 2005-ish, 2004-ish, somewhere in them around there. I knew that my dad was my guru. Sure, we call him Babaji, but as my true guru, which he is, he's a system of yoga. But guess what? They said, I would be my guru of my son. Which is again true. Who is my son? I have two sons. Well, a son and a daughter uh, to this point. My first son is Forbes Harper Christian or Harper Forbes Christian or Divine Forbes Masculine or Forbes Divine Masculine. So that's Harper. He is what? Sri No, don't get me wrong. I don't know exactly who he is and I really don't care. But I'll tell you, he's enlightened. And you know who else is a bad boy? John Gristitian returned. Who? Our dog, Mia. You think that's a joke? Test her out. Test her out. She is who? It was my mount for a while until my wife couldn't, uh, couldn't handle a schizophrenic that is non-schizophrenic walking a dog. Uh, because what? The schizophrenic could walk a dog and she can't walk a dog. So she got rid of her. Can you imagine getting rid of an immortal dog? That's pretty fucked up if you ask me. But anyways, that's cool. She can't handle it. That's all bad. So that would be the two personages that are John Grisitian. John Grisitian was Larry Mahasaya last life. He was a yogi this life, taught and inflected and helped what? His, uh, his, his people this life, his family this life. And guess who he returned as? So he could do more yoga. Mia. Jade, my ex-wife, calls her missing in action. I don't know because <laughs> she's not home. Oh, I can't lay into Jade that much. But essentially, the funny joke was that she could not walk a dog with Harper, whereas the schizophrenic could walk a dog with Harper on medicine that was going to make him die. That's the shit, baby. Okay, have a great night.